Hello, YouTube friends. Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, recently, I've had some friends uh, mention to me that they were considering starting a YouTube channel. And I can't, you know, I, I, I couldn't encourage you more. I think it's a great thing. I think it's a great resource for uh, for folks to use, use the YouTube, the YouTube platform. And uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to share with, with those of you who are considering that uh, the five tips, five tips that uh, I wish I had known when I first started on YouTube. For those of you not familiar with me, I, I've I've been on YouTube now for over over five years, I believe, and uh, maybe five or six. And I threw I threw a video up there on YouTube. It it, it got some views, uh, you know, a dozen or so views. I started to get a couple subscribers. I got the bug. And uh, today I have a little over 35,000 subscribers and I release anywhere from two to four videos a week and a Saturday live stream. So it's come, it's come a, a, a ways. I'm certainly not uh, an expert on all things YouTube, uh, but um, I've, I've been around the block a little bit and, uh, and I think I got about 6 million views, 65, uh, uh, 650 videos uh, uploaded. And, uh, and so I've, I've, I've picked up a few pointers. And I want to share those with you and uh, five tips for anyone who is thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Tips that I wish I had heard uh, when I was getting going. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. If you're new to the channel, be sure to... Uh, Hit that bell and that sub, and uh, hit that notification bell that and that sub and like uh, icon. That that tells YouTube that you're getting something out of the channel and encourages YouTube uh, to put the video in front of other YouTubers who might be interested in subjects like this. And it is greatly appreciated if you can do that. And the first one is to jump in. And, um, and, and I really do mean that. I mean, don't, don't concern yourself initially with, um, you know, having a Spielberg, uh, you know, quality type of video. It's not going to happen. You're, you're going to, in the beginning, you're going to make uh, a lot of learning curve type mistakes. We all do. If I go back and look at some of my earliest videos, it's, um, you know, it's pretty bad. <laughs> It's it's uh, not not pretty in some cases, and um, and I'm always learning, and and um, that's uh, that's point number two, which I'll get more into in a second. But uh, jump in, jump in. All you need, all you need really is 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 this. All you need is this, just a phone. Uh, with today's phones, whether it's Samsung or Apple, it doesn't matter. With today's phones, you can you can put together a uh, a quality video. You can put together a, a, a relatively uh, good quality, good quality video for YouTube. Uh, if you have a steady hand, if you don't have a steady hand, consider uh, something like a tripod, something like this. This is a, a very heavy duty tripod put out by Joby, and uh, you can you can put arms on it. So you can put lights, you can put uh, microphones, you can put all kinds of stuff on it. Also, if you're vlogging, if you're walking around, it's very easy to hold it you know and and talk to it as you're walking and uh let you get it further away from you so that you're not like filling up the whole frame with your with your face so uh you know consider a tripod if you're not real steady if you if you do have a steady hand uh you can get a lot done just by hand holding cell phone so jump in jump in tip number one jump in don't hesitate throw something out there if you don't like it uh you can always delete it you you've got you do get take backs on YouTube <laughs> if you if you start to get a, a storm of negative comments or something. But um, the three things the three things that you're going to be mostly interested in. If you write anything down during this video, write this down: uh, video quality, uh, lighting, and audio. Those those are the, the, the that's the that's the uh, the key the, the 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 key trifecta the the, the three key points. Your, your video, your lighting, and your audio. In the very beginning, 
when you're using something like a phone, just be aware of the lighting on your subject. Don't don't try and film somebody with a window behind them so that they're dark. Um, you know, watch things like uh, you know having your your picture washed out, things of that nature. Um, audio quality. You know, certainly if you're if you're you can always add to a cell phone. You can always add. You can ha they have plug-in microphones. You can you can use um, like they have Rode. Uh, little boom mics, you know, little little uh, shotgun microphones, and uh, and then as you as you move along, as you move along, you can start to get into more uh, advanced microphones, like wireless. Uh, in some of these, like wireless um, levelure type of things that you would just pin to yourself, you know, so you can walk around and and uh, and be hands free and not worry about a microphone. And uh, but in the very beginning, don't worry about. Don't worry about any of that. Just, just use your phone and make videos. And uh, you'll start to get feedback. Uh, and, and from that feedback, assuming it's well-intentioned, there are a lot of folks out there who will honestly want to help you. Hey, listen, hold your phone horizontally when you film. Don't hold it up and down. It's a better picture on you. You know, you get little tips like that. Uh, you know, try and stay a little more steady. Uh, the music was too loud. I couldn't hear your voice. Uh, you're gonna get, you're gonna get input, and and if if it's respectful and well intentioned, uh, and really trying to help you, really stay open minded, and you'll start to learn. And um, if it's just some jerk who is jumping all over you, someone who probably doesn't create anything on YouTube at all, they just go around trolling and criticizing those that do, just simply delete them and block them from your channel because um, you don't need them. I, I guarantee you, one of the best features on, on YouTube is the block and delete function. <laughs> Always be learning. Watch successful YouTubers, watch what they're doing. Watch how they film. Listen to the quality of their audio. Listen, watch their video quality. Uh, Look at their look at their um, thumbnails. That little that little picture that you see when you're going through YouTube and deciding what video to watch. Um, it's called a thumbnail. Look at how they create thumbnails because if you can't capture someone's attention with a thumbnail and get them to click, they're, you know you have the best video in the world. It's not going to matter. It's uh, people are not going to start watching it. So um, learn, watch YouTubers you enjoy, watch what they're doing and watch YouTube videos about being successful on YouTube. There's a lot of content out there and it will cover lighting, video, right? And audio, you'll get a lot of information on that. And as you move along, you'll be ready for more advanced information as you go along. And uh, so tip number two is to always be learning, okay? Just like the motto of my channel, when it comes to fish keeping, always be learning. And um, and we all learn from each other is the other motto of the channel. So that applies to content creators. I am constantly listening to uh, content creators uh, who talk about uh, camera equipment, audio equipment, things of this nature. My setup for a long time was just a cell phone and a Rode, what is called a Rode boom mic and a small pop mic, uh, what they call a pop mic, which is just a level or that I would use. I actually like the $15 level or more than I did the uh, Rode um, uh, shotgun mic, to tell you the truth. And uh, with this setup right now, I'm using a Sony 6400 camera uh, being processed through a, uh, what is called a Predator Helios 300 Acer computer, very powerful gaming computer and a, a, a blue Yeti microphone. Definitely not top of the line, okay? I can, you can get this kind of a setup uh, for under $3,000. There are people out there uh, whose content, no doubt you've watched, that have fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 setups in a studio with staff and things of that nature. You don't need all that uh, to, to be successful. Certainly as you become more successful, you can start to get more equipment uh, and you'll know you'll know when it's time to upgrade. You'll, you'll want to upgrade.
So uh, learn, always be learning, watch the videos uh, of folks who are posting how to be successful on YouTube. Try to watch videos that are more recent because the YouTube uh, standards, the YouTube uh, settings are, are evolving constantly. So uh, try and watch videos that are more current. If you watch one from, one from two years ago and you go into your, your, uh, your software, your editing software or your, your, your uh, live stream software platform, like in my case, it's OBS, and I do all those settings, those settings aren't, they're, they're not what's going on right now on YouTube. They, they've, they've changed everything. They, they can handle more data so you can, you can put through more data so you can go, you know, you can go 1080p or maybe you can go 4K or maybe you can, where a few years ago, 720 was the, the best resolution you could get across. So <clears throat> always be learning, try and learn uh, from sources that are more current and that way you'll, um, you'll, you'll have the most current information here to always be learning. One of the reasons I'm doing this video in this setup, normally I would be using the, the level or mics. I'd be using the, the clip on microphone. This one here that actually has a comparable looking box that goes next to my camera and goes directly into the camera. Normally I'd be using that setup, but I watched hours and hours of video trying to figure out why last week's live stream had some clipping in the audio. It drove me crazy. I didn't like it. Um, I'm sure the folks who are watching didn't like it. And um, so I watched a lot of videos and I've made some tweaks and some adjustments in OBS, which is the platform that I use to record. And I'm using this video as a way of testing to make sure that I've actually corrected that point. So always be learning. <laughs> We're always learning. <laughs> I think I figured it out. We'll see. Um, the other point is um, is output. Try and and get content out on a somewhat you know as 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 regular as you can. And um, I know some of you are trying to get a channel off the ground, like I did initially, while having a full time job, uh, family, kids, engagements, uh, you know things you have to do. I get it. It it's it it's work. It's work. There's gonna be some work. Uh, you're gonna be up late some nights doing some editing, so you get tomorrow's video out. Another point related to that: don't rush out content just because you think you need to post content. In other words, don't put out content just to fill a gap that is mediocre or average, or that you don't like or do you didn't have any passion about. Put out content that you enjoy, that you wanted to talk about, and. Uh, don't put out, don't, don't try and just fill a slot because you feel you have to. But at the same time, try and be consistent and somewhat predictable in, in the output. And you'll start to develop a following and that following will come to expect videos from you on those days. And they'll look for them on those days. But if you stop posting, they'll stop looking. Point number three, be somewhat consistent in your output, as consistent as you can be. Don't put out subpar material just to fill a slot. You're better off having a day without a video than putting out something that you didn't like. Uh, number four is uh, become familiar with and invest in uh, some, some video editing software. Uh, you can get very inexpensive uh, options. Like on my phone, I have an app called Viva. And um, I can just show it to you here. They don't sponsor me. They don't even know I'm alive, but I've been using their, their app. It's relatively inexpensive and is very, very feature rich. And they're always upgrading it and adding more features. And um, it's, it's this app right here, Viva. And it's, it's a, um, you can do video on top of video, you know, picture in picture. You can do voiceover. You can add, they have a big music library. You can add music. Yeah, it has a lot of features, uh, lots of built-in, um, uh, like little applications. Little, like you can add subscription buttons. You can add logos. You can add, it's very feature rich for what you pay. 
On this system here, I'm, I'm using what is called the OBS, which is a, a sort of like an open broadcast software, I think it stands for. And it's just a free software that you can put into your computer. It's used by millions of people around the world. And uh, it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, pretty solid. It uh, doesn't crash. And, uh, but there's other ones out there. That's what I'm using for this recording. My day-to-day -day video editing will be done uh, in a software called Vegas Pro, like Las Vegas, Vegas Pro. Tell you the truth, I don't recommend Vegas Pro. It, it has crashing issues and um, very frustrating sometimes. So I don't necessarily recommend it. If, if, if I was to switch, I'd consider something like DaVinci, uh, DaVinci Resolve, or, or perhaps um, a, you know, there's Adobe. There's, uh, there's a lot of them out there that are actually of a better quality. At any rate, uh, yeah, learn an editing software, and that way you'll be able to do things like scene transitions and, uh, you know, special effects and close-ups and all kinds of good stuff. And uh, that's always kind of fun. You know, special effects are kind of fun. And, and, and uh, you know, it, it, it's, you'll learn. And the only reason I'm staying with this Vegas Pro is because I've spent so much time learning it that uh, to abandon it now and restart the learning process, it's uh, a little bit of a daunting uh, idea in my mind. Anyway, that's number four. Get, get some software that will allow you to, to edit and uh, you, can, you can get anything from a, you know, 10, 15 bucks uh, all the way up to many hundreds of dollars. And uh, certainly the software that came with Windows or came with your Apple computer, it's okay. But if you really start to move along in, in, um, on YouTube, you're gonna find that you outgrow the features in, in, in those fairly quickly. YouTube is trying to add some editing applications on YouTube, but they're, they're very, very um, just mediocre at best. I, I guess would be the only way to, to describe them. So you really pretty much have to arrive at YouTube with an already fully edited product. The last point that I'll make is uh, point number five, and certainly share with me any tips or points you have and, and any experience you've had with any of the points that I'm, that I'm bringing up. But number five is be yourself. Just be yourself. Don't try and be a cut up or a character that normally you would not be like. I, when, when I, and there are people who are cut ups and who are jokers and funny and they're you know, doing that and and that's okay i mean that that's that's their style that's all right uh, and but for me I, I like to talk to you the way i would talk to you if you and i were sitting down having a cup of coffee i mean that's that's my approach i don't talk to the youtube uh you know the youtube's sphere the youtube universe that's not who i'm talking to i'm talking to you you, the person watching this video right now, that's the most important person to me. I'm talking to you. So, um, so I keep it, you know, keep it real. Uh, be yourself. Have fun. And, uh, and, and pick a, a topic. Like for me, fish keeping um, is a topic I'm, I love. I enjoy. I feel passionate about. I want to help people in it to do better, to to uh, win at fish keeping, you know, to enjoy it and uh, to not have too many setbacks or failures. And so I share information that I hope will be helpful to them. And so I'm, I'm uh, you know, it's a bit of a mission for me. And and so pick something that you feel good about. Uh, pick something that's that you love and that you would love to tell your friends about and, and share your ideas. If you go into it for the money, if you go into it because I want to make a lot of money, on YouTube. I'm not saying money's bad. I'm not that. I mean, Hey, it's great. But if, if you go into it, that viewpoint, the very first few months, it's very rare. You have an overnight success. It happens. Someone just blows up right away. But, um, usually there's a, there's a curve <laughs> and, uh, you're going to, you're going to have some setbacks because the, the, the income can be it can be a bit of a runway before you'll start generating revenue. But um, the main thing, the main thing is have fun. If this was to stop being fun for me, I'd stop doing it. 
And uh, if I ever feel I need a break, I'll take a break and then come back fresh. Uh, YouTube statistics show that people can walk away from their channel and come back later and they tend to pick up again. So at any rate, those are my five tips. If you're, if you're uh, thinking about getting on YouTube, jump in and uh, learn as you go and, and keep learning, keep getting data, get data about lighting, video and audio and, and, and gradually upgrade, upgrade the process, uh, put out content on a regular basis that you, that uh, you feel good about and uh, invest in some editing software, have fun, be yourself, uh, pick a subject you're passionate about and ignore the trolls, delete and block the trolls. Anyone who's coming across with a malicious uh, tone uh, that isn't trying to help, but in fact, attacking you or just berating and just getting on YouTube, get them out of, uh, out of your, out of your grill. You don't need them in your grill. You will do so much better. So, uh, <laughs> and there is a great relief in deleting them and blocking them. So those are my tips. I hope you find them useful. Comment below and, uh, don't forget to, uh, don't, don't forget to hit that, hit that sub sub button and bell and all that good stuff. And uh, let YouTube know that you, you think there's something going on here and they'll recommend it to other, other folks. And uh, I hope to see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. Those are every Saturday at, um, at 11 a.m. Central Time, the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. If you're watching this video, and you are a fish keeper. If you're watching this video just because you want to start a YouTube channel, you're welcome to come as well and see what a live stream is all about and the interaction that occurs in things like the chat, and uh, which is also a very important point, which I forgot to mention. Interact with your public. Respond to comments, establish dialogues, and uh, things like that, and you'll start to develop a lot of... Uh, a lot of YouTube friends and a very solid YouTube community. Okay. So thank you so much, my friends. And that's it for me. Bye-bye.